Modolphin County Judge Executive Matt Wireman for the past five years has had a goal to get more water, better water, city water and county water to the more remote areas of Magoffin County. Well, that wait is over. County officials are now busy putting to use the $1,250,000 earmarked from the state initiative Team Kentucky. This will give access to county maintained water lines to 62 homes that have previously been without. So what we were able to do is to, through the process of the Cleaner Water Act, we were able to get 300,000 or a little over, then a little over 700,000 toward this project. And <clears throat> still was looking for another million and a half. And uh, through working with the Department of Local Government and the governor, uh, we were able to uh, apply for a community development block grant and uh, historically those have been capping out at a million dollars, but over the last couple of years they've raised that threshold. See a penny, pick it up, and head to Appalachian and Wireless and buy a new iPhone 13. One penny for an iPhone 13. Choose a two-year contract or the mix and match or unlimited plan. iPhone 13 for a penny. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. These efforts aim to improve public health, sanitation, and general quality of life for families in these underserved areas. The homes soon to have this water service are located along Kentucky Highways 542, 1502, and 378, as well as the Jake Fork area. And the folks that I've seen their water, I've been there in their driveways and they've shown me. They send me videos of the sulfur water, the water with black oil looking substances in it. Construction on the water lines will not begin right away. But everyone and every county official right now is excited to know what's coming in the future. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Kempton.